Ooh, swipe. Nice. Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel. I am your host, the Scarecrow. Welcome back to our playthrough of Resident Evil 3. This is part 9. And if you've missed any episodes up until now, go ahead and click the link up in the corner. It'll take you to where you can watch any parts that you may have missed. But in the meantime, let's get our faces eaten. Alrighty. So... We got ourselves some mine rounds last time at the end of the Carlos fiasco. And now I don't know what the fuck we're going to need them for, but I imagine it's going to be for something big and ugly like Nemesis. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Seriously? Really, you two? What the fuck? Come on, really? Come on, low. I mean, aim. Jesus. A three for one jobby. Nice. Oh, where's my award for that? I took out three of those assholes in one go. Right, he's right in the cornhole. I blew his sack off. Okay, I don't understand. What was the goal with that? Just to be assholes about it? Oh, Jesus, really? Nice. Wow. This shotgun's really fucking powerful. You know what? I should stop wasting ammo and just poke him with the knife. Yeah. Anybody else in here? Jesus. Wow. That fucking shotgun's the shit. Anyway. That's the second time in a row I blew fucking three dickheads away. What is that? I can't stay here. Yeah, but he's not happy either. Escape the creature. Well, it says there's something here, but where? That? Is that all? No, of course not. What's this? Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon of residents considered to be emblematic of a city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several several philanthropists, people who gave a lot of money. It was dedicated to the children born in a developing city and was first floor, and the first floor was used as elementary school for many years. The city saw few, uh, I'm fucking this all up. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and plaza, public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with the mayor, Michael Warren, to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Oh, an 
an orb. Let's hold off on that. Or maybe let's just use that. Is that it? Jesus Christ, what the fuck's left in here? Oh, you thought you were hot shit? Bye, English! Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew I should have fucking waited. Oh, you suck. Okay, let's do this. Shit's gonna hit the fan. Nemesis, anyone? Oh, Jesus. It's... Oh, I'm on fire! What was the explosion? Bitch can't even swim. He doesn't need to. He breathes fire. Respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. oh yeah, hey, you're missing the fun. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Jill. Jill, what happened? Oh, what the hell? It turned into a fucking sea monster! Don't stop running! Fuck is wrong with you! Really? It's heavy enough to weigh him down, but you stopped for it? I mean, you were able to move it? Run, bear! Run! Oh, fuck me. Come on, that was my way out. Nice. Dude, that fucking thing's pissed off. Fuck the stairs. Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Alright, I'm gonna die. Never said I had to fight a fucking sea monster. Yeah, whatever. Cause hand What the fuck was that? Was he just chomping on my fucking head? Reload, damn it! What the fuck are you waiting for, Grimace? That's for you, bitch! Holy shit, Sticks! Didn't I already kill you? Did you really just fucking dodge that? That's a load of bullshit, let me tell you. Come and get it, ass lips. Bang! I don't know. Oh, there's a box over there. Yeah, all right. Get away from me, you fugly fuck. What the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here? Hey! Way to dodge! Fuck, caution. Great. So, do I waste a heal? Or do I gamble that he's only gonna do half a fucking, what do you call it, next time? Oh, damn. That's not a good fucking sign. What the 
fucking hell are you doing, buddy? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Am I supposed to, like, pick him off the wall or some shit? Nope. He's gonna fucking blood. pounce on me. Where's that box? Really? What's your bullshit capacity? Fucking die, would you? Oh, that's not fucking fair. You can't just mow me down. I got nowhere to go. Oh, Jesus.
to hit while it's moving. Sorry, it's gonna stop moving in a minute. Jesus, I guess I had to get him at the very top. Let's do this. Suck it? Oh, holy fucking crap. Well, of course it's gonna crap out on you now. Seriously, look at what the hell you just fought. It's like, nah, I quit. I'm scared. Seriously, it never seems to fail. Always beat these motherfuckers with no health left. Do I, where the hell do I go? Do I go in there? Guess I do. Rib meat, anyone? Oh, seriously? Yeah. What happened to the grenade launcher? Oh, nice. I'm gonna say, oh, just his arms? Don't count on me to fucking shoot that, Jesus. Oh, of course he grew a new fucking arm. Uh oh, you're done for. Look at this sack of shit. Where the fuck were you? You've done me a big thing. Please. Oh shit. Doesn't look so good. Roughly half a day later. Wow, just leave him there? I mean, leave her there? You piece of garbage. Where the fuck was he through that whole fight? He could have helped. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Yeah, if he doesn't kill the doctor first. Alrighty then. Well. The story's so much better than Resident Evil 2. I mean, in Resident Evil 2, you're basically just wandering around the police station trying to get out, basically. I said the basically already. But basically, basically. Hospital? Is there is there a doctor in the house? Oh, good. There's a typewriter in the house, though, and that's exactly what I need. Cause that sucked. Find it, Jill. Wasted four m mine rounds I'm gonna get you just defense. to get him on the top of the what do you call it? Damn it, that sucks. You know, I wonder how more. Be okay. What do you got? I promise. Oh, I gotta find a vaccine. Okay. Well, maybe next time, ghouls and goblins. Because that's all the time I have for now. I'm due back out in my field. So, this was intense as hell. Ah. Stick around and see if we actually get the, uh, the vaccine for Jill in the next part. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the little bell so that you're notified when that pops up. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>